So are you too old to become a pilot? I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you fall under one of three categories. Either you wanted to become a pilot early in your career, but the costs associated were too high and you decided to wait it off until much later. Maybe you ran a successful business for the last 20 years and now you decided, you know what, I've saved up enough of money and now I can pursue this dream of being a pilot. Or maybe it's because you're sick and tired of your current job, your boss, and even the mundane things you have to do on a daily basis, and you're looking for a fun, exciting career. And the one that comes to mind is being an airline pilot. So if you fall into one of these three categories, this video is for you. Now to address the title of the video, how old is too old to become a pilot? And the answer, you're not gonna like it, is it depends, and maybe. It all depends on your personal goals. I'm going to show you two main paths to becoming a pilot in your second career with real life examples. The first is being a major airline pilot. Let me tell you a story. I have a friend who spent most of his career as a licensed mechanic. Not an aircraft mechanic, but a car mechanic. He was a car mechanic most of his career until he was 40 years of age. At 40, he decided to do something completely different. He enrolled in flight training. He built time by flying people's aircraft all over the country and ferrying the aircraft for them. And by the age of 46, he joined a major airline flying a Boeing 737 as a first officer. And by the age of 50, this same friend of mine became a captain on the Boeing 737. So he went from zero to hero in 10 years, all the way to being an airline pilot at the age of 50. Now, I'll be completely honest, to be a major airline pilot, a lot of airlines require you to fly for at least a minimum of 20 years in order to get a full pension. So that's the number a lot of people have in mind is 20 years or even 25 years to get a full pension. And uh, that's the time you want to put into an airline. So if you do the math, the retirement age currently in Canada for an airline pilot is 65 years of age. So we take 65 and you minus 20 years, we get 45 years. Now we have to subtract a couple of years for time building. So if we minus three years for time building, we're at 42. And then finally, if you subtract two years for the time it takes to finish your flight training, assuming you're gonna flight train as soon as possible and back to back without any breaks, that brings us all the way down to 40 years of age. So the latest I recommend starting your flight training, that's assuming your goal is to be an airline pilot would be at the age of 40 years of age. The second option you have as a second career pilot is being a regional pilot. So what do I mean by regional pilots? That's flying much smaller aircraft, such as the Bombardier CRJ, the Bombardier Q400, or the Embraer 195 jets. The typical routes for those type of regional aircraft are pretty good. You get to fly all over Canada, you get to fly all over the United States, depending on the type of aircraft you're flying. You get to fly pressurized aircraft with passengers in a commercial environment. I can give you a couple of examples of my own customers, my own clients who I work with, who started a very successful business early in their 20s because they found, you know, pilot training and even the salary at the time to, you know, not be that much. So they went into business for themselves. They run successful businesses in Canada and now they've accumulated a lot of money. They, their family's already grown up. They've got kids and the kids have actually moved out of the den. So they got all this free time and all this uh, excess money. So they decided to now pursue flight training. And a lot of these clients of mine have actually started much later in life. I'm look, talking about age 50 to age 55. And now they're actually onto their second pilot job already. So it does happen. You can actually start much later in life at like age 50, 55. And then you can spend the next few years time building. And then once you join a regional airline, you get hired as a first officer. And then once your seniority number comes up, you could spend the last five years of your career as a regional airline captain, which is a huge accomplishment in itself. Now, don't be discouraged if you do not fall into one of the age ranges that I mentioned earlier. Because as far as I know it, I mean, we only live one life. You want to live it to the best of your abilities with no regrets. You still have a long life ahead of you. You know, every time you look at an airplane flying above, you don't want to have any regrets as to whether or not you should have taken that job. So make the career switch now. Don't think twice about it. It's a lot of fun. Trust me.